this week on the Hoover Boys. Well, I just dug me a rivet, a, another rivet for me on the day. I look up and uh, Mark says, shiny. What are you doing over here? I don't know, I look pretty smooth and that? shiny. Yeah, I think it's slicky. Oh, you. I look really thin and slickish looking. It looks old. <laughs> you. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what that's going to be. Well, I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. We were able to do it again. We found another unplanted farm field. They are getting very hard to find this time of year. This is actually a place we scouted out a couple weeks ago when we were out door knocking, Mark and I. We went up this lane, knocked on the house. These people back here, renters, they don't own it, but they pointed us where the owners were. When we were driving around for three hours the other week, we ended up knocking on their door twice and neither time they were home. So we came straight here this morning, knocked the door, they, were, they gave us the permission, and uh, we had already looked at the map because we knew that there were some home sites on this property. One's one of these little mounds behind me, hopefully, haven't been there yet. The other one's way in the other side of the field, so possible multiple home sites. Uh, Gary met up with us this morning, uh, we just dropped him a pin, he was out door knocking as well. Um, we're hoping to have some fun and save some history. Let's go find this iron patch. and. Have a little fun. Let's go. Well, muck pants first on the board. Oh, you got two buttons? Yes, I did. Oh, ho, ho, ho. got a gold guilty one there. Yep. Now a little baby one in the box. Yes, sir. I like it. Like good start. So we haven't actually located a iron patch that sounds like a home used to sit there yet. Um, there is iron in this field, which tells me that they did work it, which is a very good sign. And two buttons also a very good sign. So I have faith. So my map's a little off. The home site I'm looking for is the farm over there. And unfortunately, that field is planted. Good news is, Gary found the other home site that's on this property, and uh, he just said he hit an iron patch. He pulled out a bunch of buttons, including a dandy button. No coins yet. Uh, so we're gonna cut across the field over there, and hopefully that one pans out some more. So we made it over to Gary on my way over here. I did get my first button and got a, a lantern part. We're gonna see what Gary's got so far. All right, what you got, buddy? Oh, hold on there. You got old Tom back? That's a beautiful dandy button. Cool little design. Heck yeah, I like it. You said there's any bricks and pottery around oh, yeah, here? Lots of brick and pottery over here. All right. Unfortunately, it rained its you know what off, and we got some some wet spots in the field. Definitely a muck boot kind of day. So we've been finding plenty of old stuff. The uh, spot that Gary called us over to, I think it was more of a warm spot than a home site. Because this whole field's littered with iron. We've been picking up buttons, ball buttons, pieces of buckles, spoon, all the normal stuff. What do you got? I don't know. I don't know. I would say it's a button, but not. I don't know what the other side's got. It's so be weird on it. 20? That, that's got the weight of a coin. Yeah, it looks like a coin too. Could be a farthing of some sort. I don't know. I don't see any details. Definitely has the weight of a coin. I'm, I'm assuming it was a farthing of some sort. It's weird that it's got an, like a counter stamp or something on this side. That's what it looks like. I don't know. If we figure it out, we'll come back. But other than that, I have found a wheat scent. All right. That's the first uh, old coin, we think. All right. Possibly. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Probably not. Chance of. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Check out this thick boy. That's a button. It's heavy. It almost feels like it has the weight of silver or lead or something, but it, it came out shiny. It beeped an 18. It's definitely a button. It's a heavy one, though. I guess it could be a really low grade silver, but it doesn't really have that look all the way. Definitely a different one. Definitely an old field for sure. I got a signal here, it's right around 20. I want a lot digger just in case because his coin was right around 20. And then over there where I got my hand digger, there's a deeper low 20 signal. So we're gonna try a double lot dig. Son of a gun, I forgot to turn my headphones off. It's still early for for me. <laughs> Alright, so this again. The touch is 21 sometimes. I'm hoping for it. Older coin. Seems like older ones beep kind of lower sometimes. 
Last thing I wanted to do is get down on my knees today and it slopped. I think we buried it in the bottom. So I went underneath of it. Yep. You don't need your hand digger. It's okay. How about that? <laughs> Stuck to the probe. Can't do that again. That is going to be a button. But the, the signal over there sounds a little bit better than that. I say this is this has been a nice old field so far. I will cover that up in a minute. Let's just go straight into this. This is a deep one. That sounds a little better. Yeah. Sounds deep. It's definitely a high tone. Come right out. Right that one. Bury this one too. Yeah, you moved it. <laughs> Hopefully I, don't, hopefully I don't find it with my shovel. All right, didn't want to get down on my knees. Now we're there. Oh, down. It's whatever this is. Come here. It's a ring. It's an old ring. Nice. That doesn't look like a new ring. No, it doesn't. And that's, uh, I'm gonna clean that up. Obviously it's not precious, but it's an older ring. It's weird. It's kind of boxed off there at the bottom. Probably a little kid's ring. <laughs> Still no old coins for me, but we do believe Mark's coin was a coin. If that made any sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's not too much to see here. I mean, obviously it was an old ring that was non precious and probably a kid had on his finger because you can see where you get bended around. One size fits most. It does have some markings and stuff, but. <sighs> There's definitely a lot of signals in this area. To say that I'm ready for an old coin is an understatement. I know it's just a matter of time that I just gotta swing over it. You get another coin? I gotta get some skin on that. Hey! Field engine. Indian head scent. Looks like a 1891 if I had to guess. It's all dried up now. But no doubt Indian head scent. Definitely a good sign. I, th I think I know what went on here. I think. Yeah. People drop stuff. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah. Every bit of the field we've been in so far has had iron and buttons, which leads me to believe this used to be some sort of orchard, whether it been apple, peach, plum, whatever. Uh, I do believe this was an orchard, you know, just, just a wild guess shot in the dark. So what I'm hoping for is we stumble upon the place where they either paid the hands or the pants the hands sat down and ate and gambled and lost some money. Mark's over here making fun of me. It's hard to think when you having problems concentrating on what you're trying to say. But that's that's my guess. I think this is an orchard. We need to find where they the money changed hands. We ate a little food. Now we're trying on the other side of the drive. We're trying to find whatever home site used to sit over here. Uh, we have found some brick and more iron. Gary picked up a few buttons. But old yeah. mucker. Yeah. Complete About. shoe buckle frame. In the field. That's the second time in two years. It don't happen often. No. That is that is really cool. That is not a bad one. Definitely had a little fancy on it as well. Where are the old coins, man? They They're, gotta be here. They're here somewhere. Now one thing that uh, I'm kind of curious though, because the home set right where the road is. I'm curious if they moved the home over there, that white house over there, because it does look like an older house, but I don't know. Foundation stone right there. Foundation stone in here, some brick. There's a shoe buckle and some buttons. Hopefully we're on it. There's been no shortage of buttons in this field. There's definitely been a shortage of high tones. I've got one here. I'm not going to bother the guys because it's very shallow. Hoping for a coin. Dead solid 22. Should be right under the surface. That's what it sounds like anyway. A little deeper than right under the surface. All right, don't do that pinpointer. Hey. Uh, apparently Mark just found a copper, so. And I did not. Old Buckley thing now. It's a weird looking one. Strap adjuster. Actually, it's probably broken. Old strap adjuster, probably a rifle sling or something. But Mark's got a copper. Let's go over there. What did you do? See my green imprint? I fell right back down in there. That? Yeah. That's the imprint. Oh, ew. Yeah, right. mm. 
<laughs> Did you snow the ground me? <laughs> yeah, here. We need a background so it focuses in. Alright, what do you have there? Well, probably a smooth coin. I hope not. Here you have one of those. That's gonna be a... That looks like a colonial. Looks at the back yeah. of it there, I think. I don't know. We will be right back. Muck found himself another copper, no doubt this time. Big one. That's pretty awesome there, Mucker. He's got himself a state copper. It is a Vermont copper. You can see Octori on the right side of the bust. I would say Vermont on this side. Reverse, you can see some of the, the lady sitting down. It's got a little bit of the, the field particles on there, but we're not going to hold it against her. Coin was probably lost in pretty nice condition. Uh, it's very nice to see. It's been a lack of coins for sure out in this field, but Muck has the two oldest ones. All right. And Gary's showing off some of his finds from this little area. I had a freaking Tom back. Nice, big, beautiful one. Now, is this the dandy you got over here? Yep, two of them I got here. Anything on that joker? Oh, that's, a, that's a big one. That's a cool button. I found those before. D. You got a bunch of buttons, thimbles. Where are the coins? Well, no, I was going to say where are the oh, coins. You can see it right there. V E R. Yep, that's, that's a Vermont, Vermont cover. Awesome. Butt nugget. Well, I just dug me a rivet, a, another rivet for me on the day. I look up and uh, Mark says, shiny. What are you doing over here? I don't know, I look pretty smooth that? and shiny. Yeah, I think it's slicky. Oh, you. I look really thin and slickish looking. It looks old. <laughs> you. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what that's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> you almost got it in the frame that time. Tried. It's It's got to be the Spaniard variety. No doubt it's a silver coin. Be an old dime. That'd be nice. It would be nice. I don't think I see much dirt left on it. Night now, but keep keep hitting it. It's pretty slick. You got a, you got a, a blank plan set silver? Possibly. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm going to say half real. <laughs> awesome. I knew there was going to be some old Spaniards in here. Knew it. I didn't know that you were going to find all the old coins today. That happens. <laughs> certainly does. The day's not over yet, though. Well, it is what I thought it was. It's just very smooth. This is the reverse. It is a half real. You can see the R there and then the M with the O over it. Mexico City Mint. That's the reverse. You flip like this and spin. And there's absolutely nothing on the obverse nothing that i could see maybe a tiny bit of denticles around the edge but it was a little spanish silver coin half real huge congratulations thank you you mucker <laughs> that's awesome it definitely gives this uh this place some high hopes i knew there was gonna be some coins out here but the amount of buttons that we've been finding like we thought we'd have freaking 10 coppers by now i mean there definitely can still be them out here but we're just gonna keep plugging away that's awesome congrats bro thanks this is a peak of Mux buttons here. Oh, yeah. He's got a bunch of buttons. I do. He's got a nice fancy one. All my buttons are about this size right here. <laughs> I got a decent amount. We saw his coins and we saw this. And I actually just took a picture of that. And on the picture, you can see that was a 1784 half real. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, maybe a drawer pull of some sort. Fancy one. What is that thing? Don't know. Definitely getting on some stuff. Yeah, I like yeah. it. It's hurting my ears. <laughs> it's hurting your ears. Certainly is a loud high tone. 25. Is that what the other one beeped? Yep. Your complete one? Well, I think that's what I was trying to say, complete. Complete! Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Big old curdle smell. Sounds kind of tight. Right in that big Copper one. on the surface? I don't know. <laughs> surface cop? Nah, big. that still sounds big. Let's put your finger. Oh, it oh, is a freaking surface like copper. <laughs> you lucky muck boot wearing some of guy. Right on the surface, man. Didn't that sound big? Yeah, it sounded huge. You can thumb it. You want me to thumb Shut puncher? Up on, yeah. Uh, what? It is getting dark. I, I can't do it with one hand. Oh, come on. I've lost my touch. I can't do it with one hand either. Well, All right, you, now you we're have, holding it. You have two. Yeah, one's got a glove on. <laughs> kind of black looking oh you just sucking up all the coins that's the thing is a face right there i don't know we'll have to go to a close-up <laughs> i think there's a face right there <laughs> busty i'm thinking the driveway went off this way 
It could have. Well, Muck got himself another copper. This time it's a King George III half penny. You can see where like the black berm layer came off that held the detail. I don't know if the coin was in a fire or whatnot, but definitely had some blackness to it. Definitely a nice old colonial coin to go with the rest of them. <laughs> you should go ahead and just throw it in there with all sure, the other coins. Sure, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, you know, add some more silvers to that box, slacker. I'm gonna try. I'm glad somebody's finding them. I mean, if I can, I'm, I'm glad that you are. It's, it's loose. That's for sure. Yeah, he <laughs> cracked that his old uh, 600 and it's tearing it up. Left the 900 in the truck. It's <laughs> a good place for it. <laughs> Lucy was angry from sending it home all these times. She's like, I'm ready to come out and play. He named his machine Lucy because it's got a loose, it used to have a loose shaft before he put a carbon fiber one on there. All right, back to it. Enough talking. All right, Gary, you got there. Big button, maybe? Maybe. It looks a little big to be a copper. Let's see if you got a shank on the other side. Yep. yep. Alright, now we need an eagle. You've got you've got all the dandies today, don't you? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I'm only finding buttons the size of my, my pinky finger now. Come on, eagle. Eagle. Nope. <laughs> uh, there was I rubbed it off. <laughs> no. Mm. Another another flat dandy, but that's that's awesome. Anything else out of this iron patch oh, over here? Oh, wrong way. I was zooming the wrong way. Oh you got a cradle bell. Awesome. You're always saying we're finding strange stuff. There we go. That's the brag up place. <laughs> what was that? I don't have a clue. <laughs> That's a nice cradle bell though. That's weird. It's kind of like long, like a longer one. Instead of like a real round one. You can see where the iron insides came out. Yep. That's nice though. Number six? Maybe? Or possibly? Congrats! Very nice. Well, this is only beeping 19, but it's the, the biggest round thing I've seen today. It might be thick enough to be a coin. Hey, it is! I got me a copper! A low beeper. Have some details. Please. I was not expecting that one at all. See, sometimes you just gotta keep on plugging away. I have when you least expect it. Let me clean this thing up. Hopefully it'll hold some details. <laughs> Well, there is absolutely nothing on this copper coin. I mean, it's obviously a British beeping at a 19, but nice, smooth copper. Didn't think it was going to put that big of a smile on my face, but I am way happier than I was three minutes ago. That's for sure. All I wanted to do is join in on the fun. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever found this many tiny buttons without finding a big button. These guys are finding dandies, but I haven't dug one yet. Brick. <laughs> Iron everywhere. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Does it sound like a coin? Nah. No? No. You gonna plug it out of there? Yeah, you think it's a button? I think it's a button. <laughs> <laughs> then like a surface <laughs> sun baker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tom back in it. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Nice Tom back. You got a design on the front? You got any Tom backs with design? I know you got some Tom backs. No, none with design. No. I love the ones with design. That one's all chunky. It could have a design on there, you just can't get through all that stuff. And he's got two Indians at his place already, so that's good. You haven't been on that side of the driveway yet, have you? Definitely going to have to be. Gonna have to give that a tickle over there too. We met back up at the truck, take a little break and uh, looking over some of Gary's things. He's got some nice stuff. Definitely a, a healthy box going on here. I mean, he's got some nice big buttons and things, but he's got two Indians. Got some fancy buttons. Look at that one. It's an octagon. That one's awesome. Big dandy button. And he's got a military button. Oh, it fell over. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? I know I put it there. He's got himself an Eagle D. Dragoons. That is awesome. And he's got a D buckle right next to it. They're very good. We were showing the owner of the things we've been finding and I asked him if it used to be an orchard or something here. He's like, this whole area used to be orchards. So that's my that's what my guess is still. I just had that same signal and it was aluminum clock gear or something. What is that, Basinga? It's aluminum. Are you trying to find uh, I, I doubt yours is going to be an aluminum clock gear. <laughs> Ay, caramba. We got her. I'm looking for shiny now. That's going to be in that front there. That one? 
Somewhere. Oh, it's gonna be little and shiny, huh? Is that thing? Yeah, probably. Is that a copper? Looks like one. Daggone it! Ah. Freaking, that's a thick boy. Yeah, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a freaking braided hair. No, cla uh, <laughs> I mean it could be. Maybe a lip cap. You son of a gun! You got skin. You wanna go out there? Uh. Got most of the dirt off of it. You want me to go after it? Uh, that's gonna be U.S. That'd be a first U.S. for the day. That is a braided dag. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? Well, there's a braided hair, large scent. Looks like a 1843. Ugh, that would've been so cool if it was a 44. Well, another copper for muck. Yes, sir. It uh, dried up pretty quick out of this mud, but uh. Don't look oh, at the buttonhole. Oh, it's getting, it's getting thick. and rice. Look at all that <laughs> stuff. Um, Gary got out of here a little while ago. We're gonna putz around for another hour or so. We're playing back in the iron patch, and uh, that was another old coin. Well, this signal was a dead 18, and I popped a small scent. I don't know exactly what that is. It's gotta be Indian head scent. Yay! I got a pretty one. 77. Huh? Something seven. Maybe a 67. Let me take my time with this. <laughs> that might be a good one. That definitely makes me happy. Absolutely beautiful farm field Indian. It is an 1887. Beautiful both sides. That is a perfect Indian fry of the farm field. And I finally have something to kiss. I need some good luck. Where are your shiny friends? Show me the way. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that one. Uh, I finally got something to uh, put a smile on my face for the ride home. Uh, it's got a coin signal. Didn't end up being a coin, it ended up being a two-piece button. But it's it's a good one. It's a rare one. And that's what I just dug right there. Any of you people out there, Civil War hunters, you know that is a Confederate button. It is South Carolina State Seal button from the American Civil War. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a shank. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's a Confederate button. I had to look it up, because I've never dug one of these. And sure enough, it came right up, South Carolina. State seal button, that is awesome. Let me go show the muck. Yeah, I'm smiling, ain't I? Remember yeah. uh, Gary got a Dragoon's button? Yeah. I got Confederate. No way. Yeah. Really? All right, I'm excited. What we got here? South Carolina. Oh, state seal button. Dude, that's awesome. Hell yeah. I went all the way to South Carolina to get one of these and it didn't happen. <laughs> no? No, that's beautiful. Yeah. I'm not mad I at it. it. I think it's silver washed or something too. Yeah. So maybe it was an officer. Shh. I don't know. Awesome. <laughs> it made me damn happy. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, heck yeah. <laughs> With all the hot garbage I've been digging today. I mean, I got like probably 20 buttons, but. Wow. Heck yeah. Yep. Sun's going down, so we're gonna start finding good stuff now, right? Yep. Well, I, maybe I am even finding good stuff all day. <laughs> Come yeah, on, buddy. I never found one of them. Me either. It's always nice when you get something off the I mean, old bucket. If you bucket want, list. I can put that in my box. <laughs> I Not still have you. Box. I, I mean, the one at home. <laughs> I was gonna say I have your real in my box, because you don't have foam in your I box. I my military butt box. <laughs> nah, I think I'll hold on to this one, buddy. <laughs> well, we stayed till the sunset again, like we said we weren't going to do, and. Mark just dug another copper. <laughs> <laughs> we actually are working our way back to the truck, whatever I just said. <laughs> and this is the uh, the older patch that, that's a button. Oh, is it? <laughs> nice, sound like a copper. Dude, that's a thick one. Dude, yeah. look how raised the back is look on that joker. Look how the shank is too. What are you trying to say? Yeah, old military, maybe. that'd be nice. It would be nice. I don't know if it is, doubt it is, but. No, that's all right. Nice big button. Yeah. Beep the 20 for me when I beeped over. Huh. They even got back. <laughs> She's definitely thick in the back. Uh, nice. Nice, very nice. I'm exhausted. We're gonna walk towards the truck. If anything else fun comes out, I'll show you. Uh, whoo! Uh -huh. I couldn't tell. I don't know if I've ever seen Mark dig that many buttons. I'm telling we didn't you. count them, but the majority of the board is Mark's buttons. <laughs> We're gonna go over what we found today. It was, it was a fun day. Quick look at the board. I mean, we have, we have overflow everywhere. I mean, not a ton of trash. Did I even empty my, oh, I still got my trash in my sack. I even got trash in my sack, but not a ton of trash. I mean, got over some, it was usually pretty old. Here's Muck's other things, it's pottery. There's my other things, pocket knife. Some more pottery things. There's uh, some more of 
This is it Muck's other things? Yeah. Some of Gary's other things and we have Gary's other things over here. It looks like a rosette piece and spoon. He's got some other things in his, his box still. He left his things behind, but wow. <laughs> it's a lot of round on the board. We'll start off with a nice round crotal bell dug by Gary. He's got them double D's. He's got a little tag. It says C J C Jesus Christ Jr. Um he's got a little senior pin, it's gold plated, some buttons whole bunch of buttons gary dug all the big buttons today look at all these dandy buttons gary dug and he's got got some fancy open work colonial that one's fancy octagon fancy can't forget about their dragoons button nice civil war eagle button and he did get himself two indian head scents mark they, these are all mark's buttons and other round things he just out there popping buttons every other hole it looks like is that a plunger for a revolver? Almost so. almost looks like it. And you got a sash buckle and some shoe buckle pieces and a complete shoe buckle frame. Nice pretty button there. These two things here may have been coppers. That was definitely a, a half real, a little Spaniard silver. And he got himself a Vermont half penny, KG3, braided hair, and an Indian. I wish we could hit that Vermont right because it actually does have details. There we go. You can almost see him there. Me, we all got the D. I got Gary's key. Got some other broken thing. This thing here, I have no idea. It almost looks like it was a piece of a two-piece buckle. If anybody knows, let me know. Definitely going to hang on to that. But uh, I had a decent button day. I got all the little buttons, uh, including two little ball buttons. Got on two rings or a ring and a half, a keyhole, uh, some saddle strap guides, Two Wheaties, one Indian, one wasted copper. They get a police button right after I dug the South Carolina button. I thought it was going to be another one. And I got me a uh, cut 8 real bazinga. That's aluminium. And that's uh, not a bad day right there. I know you had fun. I had and fun. your old machine, Lucy, she had fun. Yes, she did. You are, you are good with that 600. It's the big coil. The big coil? Yeah, this guy runs into an iron patch with a big coil and he's popping buttons. <laughs> and coppers and so Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take the trash with you. Why? Because all holes matter. Luckily, this light's so bright I couldn't see you dancing behind me that time. <laughs> <laughs> what a day, man. What a friggin' day. I'd, I'd love to get your button count. But I do think uh, out of everything, that's the fine of the day right there, buddy. I'll take that over 10 ways of coppers any day. Awesome. Huh? I'm hoping my Indian gave me some good luck because this will probably be the last signal I try to live dig today. 25, 26. Could be a worn out seated or a big copper. Better not be a memorial. Anything but a memorial. One real, come on. This is the fun game. Oh, what is that? It's a freaking clad dime. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it could be a clad dime, but I didn't. <sighs> Have we found any taco money today? No, Have we found anything? No, that was it. That's it. Yeah, we're not eating anything tonight. No, nah, not with <laughs> not with ten cents. I got nothing. That's cruel. Go take another copper. You... <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do this. Thought I was done live digging. D, it's D day. I got the D. Guess no day is not complete without one of them. Could have been a cobber, come on! <laughs>